This mega mansion has secret underground tunnels. Walls that disappear at the press of a button. And it got whacked with one of the biggest price cuts in real estate history. Before the son of a super famous billionaire scooped it up. Take a look. This Bel Air estate originally hit the market for 350 million bucks. About a year later, it got a $95 million price drop. Dropping the price to 245 million. Then it took another cut, and the price fell to $195 million. And recently, the property finally sold. Closing at 150 million bucks. That's a $200 million price reduction off of that original ask. That's totally insane. The mega discount lured in Lachlan Murdoch. He's the CEO of Fox and the son of billionaire media mogul Rupert Murdoch. Here's a look around his new mega compound. First, let's head up the drive. And check out Murdoch's new 25,000 square foot digs. This is the main residence. It's got 11 bedrooms and 18 baths. And we'll let the broker show you some of the mega home's craziest features. Like this gigantic wine cellar. It's completely climate controlled and can hold 12,000 bottles of wine. You heard me right, 12,000 bottles. Now for some of the secrets hidden in this place. The grand ballroom was designed for entertainment, and one of the special features of this property is that a flick of a switch, it becomes a theater. Now, I'm not gonna drop names, but on this very stage, you would have A-list performers who are used to playing in arenas playing here for an intimate gathering of 100 guests. And hidden below a perfectly manicured rose garden is this. It's a subterranean motor court that is like the size of a parking lot. I mean, there's space to park 40 cars down here. Now for those hidden tunnels buried underneath the mansion. Here we go, down the tunnel. Secret tunnel to the pool. How cool is that? Did you find the second one? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Another tunnel. <laughs> oh, you're going fast with that thing. Whoa. This is what's at the end of this tunnel. Crazy. It's gargoyle. It's a gargoyle spitting image of him. Uh. Look at <laughs> so are you guys done running around now? Yes. Okay, good. The brokers got an interesting piece of history about these wild tunnels. Pavarotti, who was a friend and a frequent guest of the estate, used to stay here often and he would come down to these tunnels and he would practice because the acoustics were so great. Figaro! Steps away from that gargoyle's creepy head. Down some long, beautiful trails is this giant birdcage sculpture thing. And then there are some koi ponds. A tennis court. A grassy helipad area. And a grand fountain. With twin staircases. That lead up to the house. And they have cascading waterfalls down both sides. That's beautiful. So how much does someone have to make if they're gonna spend $150 million on a house? That is a good question. So Lachlan is the CEO of Fox. And the company has public regulatory filings that reveal executive salaries. And according to those filings, he has a $3 million salary. Which is definitely not enough to afford a house like this. But he also qualifies for big performance bonuses. And those can bring his yearly salary to around 20 million. Still not enough dough to afford this house. But this does the trick. Lachlan's also an heir to his dad's multi-billion dollar fortune. What would you buy if you had 150 million bucks? Let us know in the comments below. And give this video a like. Smash the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit subscribe too. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And Twitter. At CNBC, CNBC Super Rich. Super Rich.